Hit me. Top left. Woo! This is the Bauer Proto R. It is time to reveal Bauer's brand new secretive stick, the Bauer Proto R. First thing, of course, you're gonna notice when you see this stick is the look of it. They have went all out in the design. It's a nice and simple look with only two colors, black and the chrome. But the chrome is not just any chrome. As you can see, as the light hits it, you're gonna get that holographic rainbow effect. And when you see this thing in person, it really does go crazy. This stick reminds me a lot of the old APX2, if you guys know what that looks like. One of my personal favorite sticks of all time. So it brings back good memories. It's a nice and simple look. And I love that they're going no color at all on this thing. What makes this stick different than sticks in the past is this is a mid kick point stick. So usually with Bauer's top end secret products like this and the agent, those are low kick points. So when you flex the stick on the agent, the bend is actually coming from down here. In the new Bauer Proto R, it is a mid kick. So better suited to actually get some power on your shot if you're ripping clappers it'll be better for that as well this stick is also made with boron to get the weight down so this is coming in at 345 grams the lightest nexus mid kick point stick that bauer has ever made so the best way to describe this stick is a mix between the bauer nexus sink and the agent you're getting the best of both worlds if you like a mid kick point stick this is going to be the one for you however unlike the bauer nexus sink which has a five-sided shaft where your handhold is a little bit different this is just going to be a typical four-sided stick i find the five-sided shaft to be a bit polarized people either absolutely love it or absolutely hate it so they went a bit safer on this option with just the four side which I'm personally a bigger fan of so it is time to put this stick to the test for the first time we're gonna put it through a series of shots stick handling everything that you can imagine and get you guys my initial thoughts all right let's buzz around a little bit just get a feel for the stick then we'll do a proper shooting test let's go So just a couple shots in, a couple stick handles with this thing. I'm gonna tell you right now what this really reminds me of. One of my personal favorite sticks, the 2N Pro. I'm just getting flashbacks to that stick right now with this in my hand. It's a mid kick point, the square shaft. I'm getting good memories, all right? We're gonna set up some targets, do some proper shooting, and let's see if we can hit some targets. But so far, we're hitting them. It's been a long time since I went four for four on these targets in the shooting challenge. Usually we go like five, six shots, we knock them all down. I think today is our lucky day. Four for four, let's hit it. There's one. Dude, we are ripping them off the bar. Holy. I, I mean, all four targets fell. I don't know how they fell. One like popped off the target from above, but you know what? That's a good first few shots. Let's just go with the empty net. I just want to ring a couple bar down. I feel like that top corner we're kind of dialed in on right now. Trying to actually work on like hitting a variety of different shots. Like we're gonna do some moving shots, actually put it to the test. Usually we're just standing still, which in games, you're never just gonna sit still in front of the net. Dude, this thing just dings. It, I, can't, I can't get it to stop. Ew, short side, far side, I feel like it doesn't really matter, man. The thing I'll say right away is this is my first time shooting a mid kick point stick in a while. I jumped over from the 2N Pro to using the Hyperlite to the Agent. So those are the sticks that I've been using. With the mid kick stick, yes, your release might be just the tiniest bit slower, but the power and the pop you feel off this thing is so nice. I know a lot of players in the NHL are still using the 2N Pro stick, so that's a very popular stick in the game still today. And maybe this could overtake it and become the next one that people use. So we got some moving shots, some standstill shots, we're gonna go from the corner here, just work on our weird angles. I was feeling like I could pull the puck in, in tight and do a little toe drag release, so we might get that going at some point as well. Let's hit these two targets, see what we can do. All right, no joke, first shot. Yeah, I wasn't lying. Holy. There we go. So even from a tough angle, we're still finding a way to hit those targets. Hit a couple of them wide, but all in all, good shots from any angle. I would like to give a shout out to our personal defender, Bob over there. Uh, he's gonna be our toe drag release partner. So all that matters with the new twigs these days, can't you toe drag release with it? Obviously I'm not Connor Bedard. My toe drag release, not ideal, but we're gonna give it a couple shots here on Bob, toe drag around him, try to rip it into the corners. Let's see what we can do. All right, I'm just gonna make sure I hit the net. So we might not hit the targets, but that's fine. Little pipe. Oh, good, we're close, we're close. Ew, okay, we're close, we are, we're right on there. We just gotta dial it in a little bit. 
Ew! Okay, toe drag release complete. It took us a few times to actually hit the target, but release is feeling good on it. Like I said, I still have to work on that shot. Obviously, it's not something that just comes natural, but especially with a lot of the younger guys coming up, taking over the league, that's gonna be the shot that you do. So I think that's enough shooting. Now we gotta get into some stick handling with this thing, but of course, first we have to do the Michi test. Let's see if we can hit it first try. Okay. Mission complete. We're gonna set up some training obstacles. I actually have some new training stuff that I wanna show you guys as well. So we'll set those up, fly around a little bit, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. I say this every stick review and I really do mean it. You don't wanna just go out and buy a stick because you see it online or you see it in a review. Definitely go out and try this thing at your local hockey shop or if you have a friend that gets it, go and try theirs. Sticks these days are super expensive and it's all personal preference, right? Your friend might love this stick, you might hate this stick. So go out and test it out for yourself. We do have a couple Bauer training tools that'll help us out today. These just came out. Pretty Pretty dope little products. This one, obviously a little stick handler. You can move these and shape these however you want. So if you wanna work on certain drills, this can help you out. They also have a magnetic version where it ranks your score. I tried it out in Vancouver. Not the best run for me, all right? So I gotta work on that thing. Over here, we have the slingshot passer. This thing actually does kind of sling some biscuits. As you can see, pops back to you two pucks on net. You can do some one tees with yourself. You don't have a friend to pass to, like myself. So a couple quick stick handles around this area. We'll go and get some more shots. And I do need to do some slap shots as well. So stay tuned for that. Let's, uh, let's get going. Okay, first run, we make it through the course in one try. Dude, I like the passer. Passer's clean. <laughs> Thing, oh man, sling some biscuits, let me tell you what. Ew, bar out and then that, let's go. Yo. Little sauce challenge here, we got Bob. We're gonna go over Bob's head, hit that target in the bottom right. Let's see how the sauce is on this thing. So sauce is feeling pretty good as well. We have one last thing we need to put to the test, and that is what this stick is going to excel at, and that is the slap shot. If you're a defenseman constantly ripping shots from the blue line, having a mid kick point stick can help you a lot with your clappers. So we'll set up a couple targets. I don't know if I'm gonna hit them, but we'll at least see if we can knock them down. A few slap shots, call it a day. We got Bob setting a nice screen right there at the top of the crease. We're gonna try to just fire him around him into those targets. Whatever happens, happens. Let's see what we do here on this first shot. Bauer Proto R, top left corner. Let's get it. Okay, we go two for two. Top right. <laughs> okay, we can't go two for two, but that shot, the first shot was disgusting. All right, I'm gonna knock down the top right corner at least. Slap shot, feeling pretty decent. It definitely is a different field, taking a slap shot with say the hyperlight or the agent with a low kick point versus this with the mid. You can definitely get a little bit more power on them. Takes a little bit more to get that pop on it, but once you get it, this thing flies. Ah, a little high, let's end this. There we go, we'll just go back to Old Faithful. All right, slap shot, obviously I'm not the best at. We hit the targets, we knocked them down, and most importantly, the flex and the pop on this thing feeling really, really solid. That about covers our first look at the new Bauer Proto R. My thoughts on this stick, like I mentioned earlier, this reminds me a lot of the Bauer 2N Pro, a great mid-kick stick. If you love mid-kick sticks and you don't want the five-sided handhold, this is definitely going to be the stick for you. This is the lightest mid-kick stick that Bauer has ever made, so definitely feels super light in the hands, very comparable to the weight there of the agent stick. The thing most surprising to me was the stick handling with this thing. I think the lightweight along with the mid kick point, really, really nice when you just have this puck on your stick. It has a good feel coming in when you're catching passes. And of course, we do have to mention that this is probably one of my favorite looking Bauer sticks that we've had in a long time. So that is the Bauer Proto R. I hope you enjoyed this first look at it. Again, get out there and test this thing out for yourself before you go and get it. And obviously I need to put this thing to use still. So I'm going to go out, play it a couple Couple games and I'll let you guys know what I think. If you did find this video helpful, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 1 million subscribers and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.